Yeah. What about this? I'm kind of nasal. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about our mothers. Shit. <laughs> okay. Title of my piece is Five Things I've Come to Know About My Mother. One. My mother has a full armory in her mouth that has all types of powerful machines right on her tongue. Her stories are rapidly firing from an M16 when she's not, when she's in the mood to talk. She will continue to shoot the skies until 20 spare magazines have all been shot, but her stories don't sound so loud. They are beautiful, and I appreciate them. About her childhood and her province. She has an Elongo accent different from the usual sweet tone. She speaks the same language but always sounding angry. My mother likes to sh start shooting at people early in the morning especially when you made her wait for you to wake up. She will ask questions about things that you were supposed to do that morning. She does that just to annoy you. She can go nagging without stopping all day, but when she's not in the mood to fight, but wants to call your shit on you, she will drop bombs during conversations, dropping sarcasms and insults everywhere, showing how much she's disappointed in you. And when she feels like telling it to you straight, she will sit you down and hold a Glock 17 against your head. Like a mafia woman, she holds her pistol with a silencer, shooting quiet bullseye to your brains, driving you insane. But careful though with what you have to say, because it's not the tongue that I'm worried about. She has, a, she has sensors on her, on her palms that automatically fires a snap, like a good old shotgun, making you deaf to your ears, taking away your innocence. Buck, if you can, that will serve as your warning. Two, my mother will never approve of my choices. She will always question my decisions like I'm a seven-year-old starting to learn how to read big words like basketball, veterinarian, activist, painting, writing, or poetry. She will ask you, are you sure? Are you sure that's how you read it? Okay, next. She will not even tell you if you read it right or if you were correct. She will simply move on to what's next. Three, my mother used to make the best meals. I remember growing up, I was always in the kitchen. Lunch was always like fiesta in our house. Dinner was like Thanksgiving all the time. But everything stopped when the man who swept her off her feet when she was 21 died when I was 15. Four, my mother will never accept me being who I am, but she will tolerate me. And I will take whatever I can that she can offer. I know this because I've tested it so many times. Let her catch me kissing my ex-girlfriend in the kitchen, got my tattoos, let her see them by accident. She will fire some shots at me, but will eventually pack up and just stop shooting. She will never call the cops on me. Believe me, she's seen me do lots of stuff that mothers shouldn't even see, but she tolerates me. Five, she may have a harsh tongue that can probably wipe out the whole town, but when it comes to family, her army can come to real nest and protect our whole fortress. She has semi-automatic and automatic weapons all ready to go. That's how she is. Paranoid, protective, and firm. She's the commander-in-chief in her own battalion. She's like that, simply because she loves all her children. And guess what? We love her back. And we will go full battalion on you if you dare touch a single strand on her hair. <laughs> 